Hey guys, James saying. So this is a video on the Cookie G35, which I just got because um, a couple of reasons. One, because it's got uh, where I can cut away uh, if I have some type of entanglement. Usually I jump. Usually I jump this video helmet here, and there's there's the other camera that's usually sitting on there, and it's always concerned me that I could get something tangled up here, and I can't cut this away. So there is that aspect of it too. I've never even come close to that happening though. Um, but it's always been in the back of my mind. The nice thing about this setup, and this is on a KISS, uh, and this is uh, mounted with tape and then screwed in place. I have two cameras. So if I'm filming a team, I've got, I've got backup. Um, so, the challenge, I like my wife's setup. She has a, on a kiss, she has a, the cookie roller mount on here. So this is very smooth, uh, very, you know, so this has like snag hazards where things can get caught, especially with two cameras in between two cameras. But this place is to get snagged on. So this is very smooth, very low probability of anything getting caught. Um, the nice thing about this is the Go, this is a GoPro 7. It comes with its own cage, so it's easy to take this in and out. Like if you want to play some video posts, um, with the, starting with the 8, 9, and 10, you know, it doesn't come with a cage. So on the 35, what I'm going to do, I have, uh, right now I have uh, two uh, scenarios that I'm entertaining, three actually. One, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to get the GoPro Max and I'm going to put that on here. So the really nice thing about the Cookie G35 is it's got this cutaway system. Now I didn't really understand how the cutaway system works, so I can, I can show you that. So there are these different plates. So this is the plate where it's made. You can have to unlock it here first. You have these different plates that can pop on. I have it pulled back enough. There we go. Where you can swap out these different mounts. So this is just a mount, and I'm going to end up mounting the, the GoPro Max on that, but I'll come to that in a minute. So this is the one. This comes with this kit, and I'll leave a link. I got this from Shooting Star. I'll leave a link in the description below. So it has this ability to mount here, and I'm, then I'm going to put a roller mount, a cookie roller mount on here. Uh, for like a, a Hero 11 or Hero 10. So if I want to film one camera that way, that's only one camera. I don't have a great way of putting two cameras on this top of the helmet. I may get a chin mount that I can take on and off if I'm ever filming a team so that I can have two videos. But I didn't really understand how this cutaway system works. So I do want to show this. Um, so you have these interchangeable, you have these interchangeable plates. So you can put this flat mount on here, or you can put the roller mount on here. And the way this works, it comes with one of two, it comes with one of two straps that one, this is a locking strap. This will lock on uh, your plate, whether it's this plate or this plate or it comes with a cutaway that you can cut away this whatever's on this plate. So not that this, not that this insert, so they have these other inserts, like if you just want a flat insert, it can be on there. If you want to put different colors on there, it can be on there. You know, I have to take that off, but this would go on here. If you want to change the look at your camera, at your helmet, but you're not worried about a camera. So I didn't really understand how the cutaway system works. So you do have this, this threads through a groove through here. And I'm going to show you with, this is the locking strap. It gets up to this piece that sets on your helmet. And this locking strap comes in and it goes in there like that. So now that, that can't come off. So this is down the side of your helmet here. Oops, I got a metallic watch on. Let's grab my magnet here. So this is, uh, you know, down the side. 
this is locked in place, this is on top of your head, and so that this can't come off. Pretty ingenious. Well, when you have, the, that would be the locking strap. When you have the cutaway strap, and I've got it pulled out, it's in the unlocked position. You can see it coming through right there, so I'm gonna pull it back further. I'm just pulling down on the, I'm pulling this out on the side here. And as I pull this away, hopefully you can see that that is being pulled back. I'm pushing it forward. Let me go to another camera. So this here, I'm pushing the strap in. It would be locking into place. It would be feeding into these grooves here. And then if you ever wanted to cut away, you would pull this on the side of your helmet and this pulls this back and allows this plate to be released if it's under pressure. I'll show it over here too. So on this plate here, when this, this is the cutaway strap or you could have the locking strap in there, it feeds up through here. This plate would set on here and this would feed into these grooves locking this in place and then when you were going to cut away it, you'd pull back back on the strap allowing this to be released under pressure so pretty ingenious system pretty simple so it has that added safety feature so now how am i going to mount my cameras well one this is just made that the the uh, this roller this cookie roller plate which I don't want to take off my wife's helmet because it's it's taped and screwed into place that way you don't have to screw into the helmet so the roller mount the roller mount will mount on this and then this will come on as long as you have this this particular cookie plate on this will come on and off and so it does have to line up there's an opening so that you can see into this opening here. Now it's not the clearest and it just pops into place. And it's kind of hard to see down in there. So when it is, when it is not locked, it shows red. So actually I'm going to walk out into the sun here. Let's see if we can see this showing red. Because you damn near need a flashlight. So that was one way I wish. All right, so now that's red. And so I can see that in the bright sunlight. That means that this is not locked in place. Let me come back over here. So when this strap gets pushed up through here, Then for the visual, let's walk back to the sun. You can then see into the hole if you have enough bright light that it has, I need to see this. You can see now that down in that hole, it has turned black. So kind of like the safety on a gun, red is danger, black, it's safe and locked in place. So. I really like this cutaway system. Now the caveat is I haven't used it yet. So bear that in mind. I haven't used it yet. And so then how am I going to mount? Oh, and then so when you want to take these off, right now it's locked in place and it won't come off. You pull back on the strap and I know I have to go about that far, but I can look down in there. Do I see red? Not really. I think it's red, it's so hard to see. But then you can just push up on the center of the helmet inside here and pop that, pop that plate out. So I'm going to put it back in there so the helmet sits down. You can see it coming through there. All right, so now how am I going to mount my GoPro Max? Because the roller mounts do great at holding your camera in place. Your camera's not, this camera's not gonna come off this roller mount. It's got screws running through the, uh, the bottom of the holder. Granted, I haven't used a roller mount on the, the nine, the eight, nine, or 10, or 11, because those have the little fingers. 
So on this GoPro Max, which I haven't started jumping with it yet, there is from Shooting Star, it's Low Pro Mofo, it's the GoPro, GoPro Base 2. The GoPro Base 2, because that, this is it right here, this curvature matches the curvature of the helmet. So it's going to mount onto, I don't need this, but it's going to mount on this plate. So that curvature matches perfectly on there. Now, one thing that does concern me is it's not screwed in place. It's gonna, and I'll have to show a video or I have to jump it where it is just glued in place. And I used to really worry about that with my, like with this helmet. This is glued in place, the tape in place and screwed in place. But then on an older cookie helmet that I was trying to convert into a tunnel helmet, uh, once I took the screw out and then I'm trying to, I mean, I have a screwdriver, I'm trying to pry just the tape off. It, it, it was very difficult. Even after I removed the screw, it was very difficult to get this tape, which is the same 3M, the same 3M tape as on this smaller mount. So I had such a hard time getting that off. So I, I do feel okay that I'm going to mount this on here with just tape only. The other thing with this, who on the GoPro Max, as opposed to the other GoPros, these mofo, it looks like the GoPro 9, 10, 11, they slide into the side and they're held in place. Um, they don't come in and out this way. So I guess it is open on one side, but this one only, it, it slides in through the top. So this just pushes down through here. And you're supposed to push it in really tight. And you know, there's no strap or anything holding it in place. Now it is, it is hard to get out. Ah, so I did, I, my concern is over time, is this going to get weaker over time as I put this in and out, in and out. So I haven't, so the caveat is I haven't jumped it yet, but I like that it can be mounted on here and I like that it can be cut away. And I want to try the 360 so when I'm doing inside video, when we don't have an outside cameraman, I can pick whatever angle I want. So Monday, the roller mount's coming for this. I'll come back and film how I got this mounted on here. I may have put some glue around it, but right now that's my plan. But if you are interested in how the cutaway system works on the G35, well, that's how it works. That is really just a long piece of plastic that runs along a groove and it just slides into, it slides into a slot that holds this in place until you pull it and then it's free to pull away all right guys i hope this helps if you liked the video hit the thumbs up it would help my channel and if you found the information helpful or useful consider subscribing to the channel and if you do remember to turn on notifications so that you don't miss when the next video comes out all right guys thanks so much we'll see you in the next video